Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, Administrator Bolden, first I'd like to applaud your choice of Todd May as director of the Marshall Space Flight Center uh, located in my district. And I'd also like to thank his predecessor, Patrick Sherman, for his many years of service and leadership uh, at NASA, especially at the Marshall Space Flight Center. I'm excited about the continued success at Marshall and throughout NASA. That having been said, have you designated a NASA center lead for rocket propulsion that would be able to integrate all of NASA's expertise in deep space travel on the journey to Mars? Congressman, we don't use the term lead center anymore. It has a bad connotation for people who were around at the time of Challenger. Uh, but we have, what we have done is we have an effort ongoing. It started out as something we call TCAT that I think we explained to everybody now. It's, it's just baseline services assessment where we're trying to identify centers who have the, 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 the highest level of capability in a particular field. There is no question that the Marshall Space Flight Center is the, the one of their core capabilities is propulsion. And so no question whether we're talking to DOD or anybody else outside of NASA that Marshall is the place that people go when they want to discuss in space and, and leaving the Earth propulsion issues. Well, for lack of a better word, I'm going to use it again in my next question. Uh, while I'm asking about program leads, who is program lead for Europa? Uh, the, the program lead for Europa presently, if I, and, and I'll, let me take it for the record, but, but my, my, as my memory serves me, uh, the Jet Propulsion Lab is the lead for procurement of things like the spacecraft bus and, the, and, and others, and then um, we have uh, other centers that are contributing to that. But, but JPL is, would be, con in, in your terms, would be considered the, the lead, uh, as, although they're an FFRDC, but it's because of their expertise in, in planetary travel. Well, isn't JPL a federal funded research and development center? Yes, sir. And, and I, my impression, and correct me if I'm wrong, is that uh, federally funded research and development centers, by their nature, can only supply one of a kind research and development and not be a program manager. That is, um, I, I, I don't think that is, let me take that for the record. I, the definition of a program manager, I, I don't think there's a prohibition uh, because of their unique experience and expertise in planetary flight. For example, Curiosity uh, the, and most of our Mars missions. JPL is the center that has, that has achieved that for NASA for, for decades. We have been providing precursors on the way to Mars since the since the 60s, and Jet Propulsion Lab has generally been the lead uh, in, in doing that work. So I, I, I'll take it for the record for your strict definition of who can be a program manager, but program managers for planetary missions have always been at, at not always, have dominantly been at JPL. Thank you. I'll move on to another area. Uh, earlier this week at an appropriations hearing, you spoke about the need for, quote, game-changing, end quote, propulsion. Do you support nuclear thermal propulsion, and what role do you see it playing in the journey to Mars? We are on a journey to Mars, and, um, and, and most people believe that when, in the end, nuclear thermal propulsion will probably be the, the most effective form of, of propulsion to get there. Right now, we're funding at a very low level um, development of low-grade uh, nuclear fuel so that we don't have to go through what we go through today. So we're taking a step-by-step uh, -step approach to getting to nuclear thermal, to the use of nuclear thermal propulsion, but we are, we are years away from doing that. Again, Marshall uh, is, the, is the dominant center. They, they have most of the capability there, and they're working with some of their local uh, um, contractors who are helping them with, with developing nuclear thermal propulsion. Congress authorized $20 million for nuclear thermal propulsion for fiscal year 16. How much is NASA planning on actually spending in FY16 on nuclear thermal propulsion? I'll take that for the record, Congressman. I, I, I'll just take it for the record. I, I think I remember, but I don't want to guess. All right. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. I yield back.